you know he's attending a certain function mm-hmm. you know you can go there be in the vicinity be in the area to where he he can um his eye can catch you right mm-hmm. um and of course you'll go intentional looking good and all but um that's as far as you go as a high value woman but okay, won't, if, that look and, look, won't that look like you're st- sort of type of stalking because like a corner first function, yeah. second function, fourth function, you're there. Exactly, no, no, no. And then that, that becomes pursuing now if you're now like uh, every single function or everything or you're just showing up at his workplace or what. No, no, then that becomes bad. But, uh, but my, what I'm saying is mm-hmm. at least once or twice. If mm-hmm. he does not see you, uh, if he sees you and does not take any action after the first, second time of seeing you or what, then you sit back. So nothing wrong with making yourself noticeable. And by that, I'm talking about gracefully. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying, um, you know, you then go and you say, hey, my name, you know, okay, here and there, depending on the occasion or where it is, you can say, oh, hey, how are you? My name is Carol, you know, mm-hmm. uh, I'm an accountant. Yeah, what do you do? You know, yeah, if you need any accounting consultancy, just get in touch with me. You know, like that's, I mean, that's something that I do mm-hmm. uh, just in terms of networking. Mm-hmm. So you can come up with an approach of like networking, like as though it's a business thing, let's say it's a business function. Mm-hmm. But if, you know, you exchange numbers, he never calls you, then you, you sit back. You realize he's not even interested, not in your business and not in you. <laughs> so he, if he never calls you? If he never calls you, yes. You don't start going into his DMs. You don't, uh, if you exchange numbers, it's not uh it's not great be- good behavior for a high value woman to be like hey how are you hey. uh you know hey stranger <laughs> what you know <laughs> when that comes from a woman and i know women are doing it mm-hmm. so much uh these days it's like become a thing where the roles have reversed, reversed so yeah. men almost don't have to lead anymore men don't have to, well some men feel like they don't have to pursue because they're being pursued mm-hmm. i've got many friends and brothers of mine that are being so pursued and being so, um, like, I mean, these women on their DMs, these women send unsolicited nude pictures. They send unsolicited, um, you know, text, uh, messages. text messages and all sorts. But the thing is, uh, that then becomes pursuit when you are now, even if it's just, you know, you're the one who's saying good morning, good morning. You know, you exchange numbers and next thing you're the first one to oh. reach out. That is pursuit. But nothing wrong with presenting. You know, even mm-hmm. if you strategically know he's going to be at this function and you just go there and you he happens to see you, you know, but you you interact with other people. Mm-hmm. Don't then come right in front of him and say, see me. <laughs> look at me, I'm here. Look at me. No, no, no. Just, you know, look, if a man really is interested in you mm-hmm. and you, you walk past him and so, and he really actually wants to get to know you, men are hunters. Uh, I think like we said in the... I, was it uh, a week ago when we were talking about this uh the statement that i saw mm-hmm. that is the sperm that goes to the egg even not biologically the not the other way around <laughs> so even biology you know shows is that it? men are hunters they're mm-hmm. the ones that go to the woman mm-hmm. so as a woman yes just learn to sit back even if you hear that a man loves you or hear oh he was talking about you hey this guy likes you don't be like oh you know don't take that as an opportunity to now pursue him or to be like hey heard you were talking about me no 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 My sit way. back sit back because if a man really wants you mm-hmm. he is going to cross oceans he is going to borrow money he's going to you know men will do all sorts of things mm-hmm. you know when they actually want you um call what if this this man hasn't been talking to you but yes. what if he put something that's funny on on his status or his yeah or his story on Instagram, yeah. what can I comment at least if it's funny? Can I comment and then move on with my life, or should I completely uh-huh. just just let him be? I think that's not bad. I think that's okay, especially okay. The fact that you're seeing his status, uh, okay. I guess it depends where you where you've seen it. If you've seen it uh, per phone, per WhatsApp, then it means you guys have each other's numbers. Mm-hmm. So there's already a level of. Uh, uh, you know, an interaction mm-hmm. at least because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Yasha, but if I have your number and you don't have my number, we can't see each other's statuses, right? No, we can't. I think you both have to have each other's numbers, mm-hmm. right? So that means already, Kanani number, I hope then there's a level of interaction that you've had. Nothing's wrong with like, you know, commenting on a WhatsApp status. I personally would not comment on an Instagram status. What? Uh, 
then it goes to his dms well reason why i wouldn't is because the whole dm culture for me just i i think i just know too many men that have been approached in their dms by uh women that they don't speak very well of so I think it's or maybe it depends how the comment is. Okay, let me not say it's. it's I'm not no, saying it's, it's a bad it's thing. It's a funny status, but you know, speaking from experience, okay. like oh, like oh, <laughs> oh, oh, like like ha 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 ha, like yes, like, laughing. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, this is me trying to make myself look better. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well maybe look maybe maybe that's okay that's okay but I, I'll just speak for myself. I think I would only comment on a WhatsApp status for, okay. because it's a little more. Uh, you know each other. Yeah, you know each other because you know like. I could just I could be the one following him and then now I'm commenting on this status. Maybe he's not following me, and I'm following yeah, him. That, that then you end up at high value doesn't mean you, you must be a millionaire. Pocket, no, yeah. no, I'm, it's many elements of being high value. Good character, you know, you want a proper solid uh, woman. They, yeah, I feel like they, um, they are the ones that want to pursue. They're the ones that. Um, They've got their eye out for women and certain behaviors can make them group you into a certain class. Mm. So I think you just need to be very careful. Mm. Never look like uh, a groupie. Um, never look like you want them too much. <laughs> Even if you do, that's why you've got sisters and girlfriends. Go and cry your heart out to your girls and scream there in front of him mm. or around him. Put yourself together. <laughs> okay. So I've had people just sometimes laugh at my statuses, people that yeah. I completely don't know that follow yeah. and completely don't know. And they're like, yo, gee, 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 you follow, you follow back. You follow me, yeah. I follow you back. But, yeah. you know, they laugh at your status and whatnot. Yeah. So speaking of experience, I just want to know, <laughs> could you, <laughs> should you then reply to the laughing or should you just leave it like that? Should you, and if it's, yeah. if it's a lady, Yes. getting this from a guy who's commenting since they pursue but okay. if it's if it's a lady do doing the sending now i get what you're saying yes but if it's a guy oh well, yeah it's, it's their thing to pursue yeah but what yeah. will she or what won't she take from a partner a uh -huh. high value woman oh first and foremost a high value woman is not going to take poor character and by poor character i'm talking about lies dishonesty mm. um you know even uh games you know, the whole thing of uh, let's have uh, dinner at 7 and then you show up at 9 p.m. type thing, you know. Well, let's or find you show up we're going at, Yeah, or, yeah, exactly. She's not going to take uh, ambiguity past a certain time. So, for example, you've been dating for three, four, five months and it's just, oh, let's just kick it, you know. It's a year, it's, it's two years and you're just kicking it, hey. you know. A high-value woman, at some point, she's going to... Put the brakes mm -hmm. and i think a high value woman something else about her is um she's not somebody who will uh even argue too much especially in the dating stage like as it she was she's not gonna be like marry me you know why don't you want me why aren't you no she's going to observe she's going to notice and she makes a decision and then she moves from that from that if she realizes ah it's been two years no mention of marriage no mention of um seriousness hmm. no mention of anything what she can ask lightly okay uh, you know but um she will maybe throw certain hints and if she realizes this person is not serious she is going to get herself together she's going to plan an exit strategy and uh she will uh at the appropriate time find a way out she's not going to be you know begging you to marry her she's not going to be begging you for uh, for answers mm. no but i've been with you why did not you know for closure for closure no and a high value woman realizes that sometimes you have to find closure in yourself mm. sometimes you find closure in the fact that he did not um you know he didn't make any further advances or he's not giving you any long-term plan mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you find closure and realizing that this guy is wasting my time you don't always need a conversation a closure conversation mm -hmm. um yeah she finds closure in realizing that sometimes the best closure is to get yourself together and become you know continue on your own life's purpose continue becoming a higher value woman and leave the low value people around you um behind including someone you might be romantically interested in remember high value woman 
she doesn't wait she, she's not gonna move on to another man necessarily sometimes she just moves on to peace you know there's this quote i saw every time see, when a woman after a woman after a man after a breakup i need to move on to someone else yes a woman after a breakup she's got a degree she's got a new business she's exactly. got a new house she's got a new <laughs> and that's a high value woman because that's not all women mm -hmm. some some women are like falling apart wanting to commit suicide and mm -hmm. you know or even spiraling now uh, Drinking becoming alcohol yeah and whatnot. exactly becoming loose around town no mm -hmm. but a high value woman yeah she's going to upgrade herself and she's going to realize like nope there's better for me because a high value woman does not have a scarcity mindset mm -hmm. she doesn't live with that mindset of oh barume vashoma oh jenna chas on dinner ah you know can I you ask her with her like let's say love me enough mm -hmm. then uh will there be anyone else to love me no a high value woman is like nope if you're not uh matching up <laughs> she she there's somebody else out. yeah exactly like she knows there's better for her a high okay. value woman always believes that no there's better she's not settling for mediocrity she's not settling for average mm -hmm. she's not settling for toxicity she's not settling for abuse mm -hmm. uh she's not settling for her emotions being played around with all in the name of engineering you know yeah no a high value woman really knows her self worth and wow. because of that no she will move on to her peace she'll move on to her next level mm -hmm. and leave a man behind sure if and it needs that. Up, uh, i i love this 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 comment here and the uh, men have to talk to the woman like stories mm. like what do you like and so on <laughs> before taking a woman's number don't rush to get a, a woman's number and call her after some few days uh, and not the next day you get and the and the uh not the next day you get the number I, i'm not sure what you're trying to say and the women want men with good character money aneka that ka swag who knows what he wants i think i i can concur about who knows what he wants yes because some men don't even know what they want and I, I really have always believed that look if you are a man i know that there's some people they could see how don't want to link he cannot a certain slay queen people mm. would be like ah how like can kind of like he compromise each other or mm. she or what you know but i've always believed as a man he go for what you really want mm. if you want that vibe the slay queen vibe go Take for it. your vibe because mm. what will happen is you will get a woman angori pambari chi you know anoto mm ngosungo -hmm. mazambia ne maduku and then you end up cheating on her so i'm like no you know just get the exact the vibe that you want, the vibe that you want. Mm -hmm. if you want munwe ku church get munwe ku church if you want a business woman get a business woman mm -hmm. if you want a housewife find a housewife don't get a business woman and make her a housewife no 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 find munu ari kuti ozo to gara pamba you know don't don't i feel like men should not uh change women or try to change them too mm. much i mean of course there are things that ha people have to adjust in relationships but don't totally convert someone's life every day every day for two years then you marry her and now you tell her to be some i just think no it creates hate and it does and, and just that separation of a chat look i i don't want that from you i didn't expect yeah. this from you you didn't tell me you didn't so yeah and the most yeah. high value women are single <laughs> don't talk about it because they know what they want <laughs> they know what they want they don't want gain they don't want to just be hurt yeah no, but that's true but i will say this okay most times okay a lot of high value women not mm. all i mean many are also in very good relationships but a high value woman no matter what stage she's in whether she's single or engaged or married or what most times by the time she decides to marry someone or to get engaged or to call someone her fiance she's in a very happy stage including mm. her singleness so a high value woman is not somebody where she, she's falling apart in a singleness and she's so sad and miserable yeah she may have some lonely moments but it's not like she hates her single life you know she actually enjoys where party you know her station her current station so bano will move her to the next station of being engaged or being she or married or what you'll find that she ends up having a real solid and lasting marriage wow. and a real solid um yeah relationship because she takes enough time 
to make sure kuti muri andiri kupinda ndino so gara here do i actually am i happy with this person ndino pinda nare ne munhu and yes sometimes diligence takes time you know if you want to really make sure you're getting munari papa sometimes it takes time so you find though that even while she's in that process her singleness is actually a happy state state she could be 30 and single 35 and single but very happy have you seen those 45 single you know year old single ladies but not go far they've got a big grab or they've got chi you know they are taking out my nieces and nephews they know so i want to love and she's so happy but her singleness was very long mm. but very happy as well so yeah i think a high value woman always chooses herself with her happiness her joy her peace she chooses her peace you know and she doesn't stay in toxicity not for the sake of kuti ngonzo wa mining she is not moved by society mm. and kufadza vanhu at her expense mm. no that's not what a high value woman does sure okay listen we're backing this we're carrying this and we're moving with it we're digesting it yeah. it is seven <laughs> minutes to three carol sherry thank you so much time flies when you're having so much fun it's this it does it is a thursday and it does time flies shim it's but been thank wonderful you. with you nyasha <laughs> thank you thank you very much thank you very much thank and you. i am leaving it to dj easy jones to take it away with the amazing mix amazing music on Capi Talk 100.4 FM. Keep it tuned right here. Next up is Mosto Paposto taking you through 3 to 6. It is a Thursday, right? Cuz it feels like a Friday.